Hi everyone, I'm back. First off, thanks to all the sponsors of January 2018. I appreciate it to pieces. <laughs> okay, thank you. And um, this video is going to be about a shellac burn. As you can see here, let me get you in really close. See that? That is, um, well, if you've seen any encaustic uh, art, you've come across Alicia Twomley or whatever her name is. I'm, I'm not sure how I pronounce it. But if you, you always see this in her work. Now, I've had a lot of trouble making this happen because um, I bought shellac from the store because I didn't know what it really was. And I'll show you uh, one. And this might be what you can uh, buy. This is the brand Fine Art. And this is shellac. And this little uh, thing costs something like 13, 14 euros for one color. But um, I tried it and it didn't work at all. Somehow I don't know what what it was, but I was trying it and it didn't uh, do the the selling like you see on this one. All those little bubbles, it didn't do that. It did spread a little and there was holes in it, but that was it. And I was thinking, you know, how can that happen? Because I saw a videos of Alicia Tomley doing it and she just goes over it with the uh, torch and it all sells up and it was beautiful like this and I didn't get it. So... Then I um, did a little experimenting because, as you know, I have the um, the real shellac. Uh, oh, I should have got that. Sorry about that, but this is real shellac. Oh, let me see if you can get it in close. There we are. Oops, don't do that. There it is. As you can see, it's shellac leaves. Now, um, I went online and I uh, tried to figure it out how they make that stuff. And what they do is they put it in alcohol. So that's what I did. I put some in alcohol and after a couple of hours, it just, you know, dissolves into the alcohol. And then all you have to do, and I'm going to show you. And you don't want to get this stuff on your hands because it, it's really sticky. So what you do is load up a brush. And I'm going to put it on here. I'm trying to make it look pretty. There it goes. And a little bit down there, a little bit up here. And I want a little bit more on it. Sort of going like this. Maybe a little here and a uh, little thicker. So what you can do is you put it on um, thick or thin or whatever you like. Just like this. I'm going to put a little bit more up here. Make it come down a little. I'm getting the sides. Okay. So that's all you have to do. Now, I have to put this in water straight away or you can throw away the brush. And you don't want to do that. So the alcohol I used for this, I'll get that too. is um, this. I don't know what it is, but it, this is what I put in the shellac. Now I did another one and I'm going to clean off this brush. And that's this, this one. And because the 
this alcohol I used is pretty expensive. Uh, I think about four euros for 100 milliliters. And I read somewhere that you can also do it in bioethanol. And bioethanol is really cheap. It's something like um, two euros for a liter, so that is a difference. And as you can see, it also um, really, everything's in there, all the shellac leaves. And this time I'm gonna do this one on the bottom. I haven't used this one yet. So I'm gonna try this out. Now the thing about uh, shellac is um, you can go straight in with your uh, torch and burn this and then it'll set on fire and it will some people like the uh, the effect that that gives let me get some more out here put it on a little thicker up here to see what that does so I haven't tried this one yet. This one that I did here is with the alcohol. And I'm gonna put it a little bit thicker on, on the bottom because I'm hoping it's gonna give a, a different effect. Now that's it. So, bear with me because I wanna put the, uh, <clears throat> the brush in some water. Okay, that's done. Now, what you can do, and I'll show you, um, if I just torch it right away here, see that? It's on fire. And there are little um, cells happening here. I'll do this one too. It's on fire, as you can see. So that's all I'm gonna do because um, what you have to do to get these effects, you have to let this stuff dry. So we're going to let this dry. And, well, maybe I can do, I can do it anyway. Let's see. Just set it on fire here. See that? And it's sort of, um, all by itself, it'll stop. As soon as most of the uh, alcohol is uh, burnt up and you can see it move so that are some some nice cells but I don't know if you can see it it also sort of because it catches on fire it also um, manipulates the wax underneath so we're going to just leave this as is, and we're going to let it dry. I might even help it dry a little bit. Let's see if it's already done so. Well, a little bit. Can you see these nice big cells? Let's see. There they are. Now, as you can see, this, this happened because I set the whole thing on fire. And this happened because you just torch it. So there's a big difference. As you can see in the cell formation, this is what you're going for. This is nice. Maybe you'll like this better. Who knows? But that's just a personal, personal, uh, personal thing. But what, what I like is these cells. So... What you want to do is get them, uh, get this stuff to dry. So I'm going to get a hair dryer.
we're gonna try that. Yeah, that works. Now this is what we're going for. See that there? That is really cool. So this bottom one, as I said, is the bioethanol, the really cheap stuff. This is the more expensive uh, alcohol. Let's see if this is ready yet. Not really. Oh yeah, there it comes. Okay. Here we go. See that? Now, the shellac, you can make it all different colors because um, what you do is you get some clear shellac, not the lemon colored like I have. This is a lemon color, but they also come in a, in a very light, light color. If you get that one, you can put ink in there, and with the ink, you can just tint the shellac. So if you want a really beautiful dark purple, you can put that in. Or, But you have to go for dark colors. Um, there is white shellac, but I'm just not sure how they make that. Um, I could try and put some uh, white ink in here, but uh, for the purpose of uh, experimenting, this is uh, sort of what I wanted to do. Now, the thing about this, why it didn't work the first time, is because what I didn't know is that shellac has a shelf life. And if, you, if it's too old, like this one, this is more than a year old, and it just doesn't work anymore. So, and I was thinking, gee, why doesn't it work? And then I went online and I read about it, and like the second uh, article I came across, they said, Watch out with shellac. Don't make too much. It has a shelf life. After a couple of months, it will stop doing the cells and it will just, you know, you can still use it, but not if you want this type of, uh, this type of thing happening. Now, I just want to do one more with a little bit bigger uh, burner. Now, as you can see, um, which burner you're going to use, that will give you a different effect also. So you have the small, really tiny small one, and you can buy these on uh, you can buy these on eBay for <coughs> I think two dollars. <coughs> but I think this is about what I was looking for. So that's kind of uh, cool. Then this one. I think the bioethanol uh, works even better than the uh, than the uh, the very expensive alcohol. Let's see down here. There it is. There you go. So that's it. Now another thing that you have to. Um, uh, sort of get a grip on is the thicker you put it on the thicker you will have those uh, in between lines and as you saw me put this one on I put this one on very thin so you get a lot thinner less definition than in this one so that's important to um, you know to keep in mind when you are going after some sort of an effect that you really like because in some pictures this will be awesome and in some, you will want something like this, very lightly done. And even, I think if you uh, were to put it on even thinner, it would do a lot more, you know, just give you the appearance of the cells. But the thinner you go, it also will break up the cells because there's not enough shellac to give you those, you know, in between threads like you see here and you see up here. So that's something that you'll... Um, you'll have to think about when you're doing a shellac. 
So um, that's pretty much it about the shellac. And this is totally, it's not sticky anymore, as you can see. It's, uh, it, it dries up really smooth and uh, you don't feel it. It's just really smooth. And this is still wet, so this will be, still be sticky. I don't want to put my fingers in there. But as you can see, the effect that it gives, I'm, I'm really um, crazy with it. I really love it. I like this one the best, though. <laughs> see all those little cells there? That is really awesome. So I think that's about it. So if you really want to do this, get yourself the real shellac. And you can find this, I think, all over the place. What I would do is just Google shellac and flakes or leaves. Here it says leaves, but I've seen them uh, refer to them as shellac flakes. And then you choose your color, you put it in. Um, I would go for the bioethanol because it's cheap and it works really well. So that's what you can do. Or if you like that, you know, a little thicker, you can go for the, um, for the uh, real alcohol. I haven't tried it on rubbing alcohol because I don't think I have the real rubbing alcohol. I ordered some of that because you can't get that here in Holland, but I ordered some online and that stuff is ugh, it stinks. And I think it's not that totally healthy to use. So uh, that's why I didn't uh, try that. Okie dokie. That's it from me about doing shellac and I might even do uh, this uh, nah, not next week but next week I'm going back to work guys so there'll be less videos so I'm gonna do an overload of videos today and tomorrow um, I'm even going to try to recreate one that a lot of people were really crazy about and I don't know if you can remember it it was the PVA one with the blue veins and it was awesome it has a lot of uh, views online, and I'm going to try and recreate that because a lot of people want want to want to do it. And the thing is that let me just polish this up. I like that. And the thing is that uh, a lot of people um, here in Holland are buying the PVA uh, glue that I have, and so I want to give them something to do with that PVA glue. And I've got it all mixed up, it's all ready to go, so I'm going to put on this video and go right to the next one. So thanks all for watching, love you all to pieces, liebe euch alle, bye bye.